will be viewed that the cause of Nigeria's woes is nothing else but indiscipline, the canker worm that seemed intractable. To a traveler visiting New York State and Ibadan in particular for the first time, his first impression will be there is no authority charged with keeping the city clean. But the fact is, while the government makes tremendous effort in the collection and disposal of refuse in this city, the carefree attitude of our people makes government effort fruitless. However, the environmental sanitation campaign which began early this morning seemed to be a new strategy chosen by the Ohio State government. At Oje, Okeofatipe, Ojaibo, Kosodo Junction and Oronyo, many people were found clearing their surroundings. There was hardly any residential area at Isaliafa that was not cleaned. People living in areas inaccessible to vehicles also swept their surroundings. Areas not designated for refuse dumps were being cleared at the time tears with news arrived there. Women and children carrying waste from their respective homes were seen dumping their refuse at bare refuse dumps. Motorists, especially commercial vehicles plying bare area, were seen driving carefully through the roads littered with refuse dumps, especially on roads leading to bare from Yeme to Anoje, which had already cut the road into halves. Gutters, which has been left for months uncatered for, were freed of garbages as these groups of men at Oje were busy clearing out molds and garbages near their homes. In some areas of Okiofa, Atipe and Bere, motorists used their vehicles to assist in removing some of the refuse dumps. Sometimes commercial vehicles were made to clear some refuse in their boots as a gesture of their participation in the campaign. Children and teenagers too were not left out of the environmental sanitation campaign. Some were seen shoveling the waste into waste basket to be loaded into commercial or waste disposal vehicles. Law enforcement agents and members of the National Youth Service Corps scheme were there to supervise the clearing while some employees of the State Health Council and Ministry of Health swept all nooks and corners. Tears was news at a chat with one of them. My name is Mrs. Adija Tudelu from Oyo State Health Council, Jericho uh, Unit. We are here to clean Ibadan, the capital state of Oyo State. I just come voluntarily because we are doing this work for for your state and for my own and for my own self. The present Oyo State military governor is poised to reorientate the sense of value of the average Nigerian and make him conform with positive societal norms. The attainment of a clean, germ-free environment rests on every citizen of this country, particularly in Oyo State, to be upright in their new role. While the success of this campaign depends on the cooperation of the people, the government should ensure a healthy environment through the provision of necessary facilities such as big depots or incinerators in each locality or neighborhood and within a walking distance of each house where refuse can easily be emptied. From Bere Ibadan, Dr. Onibokun, TSOS News.